Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's try to test our skills on understanding the potential energy for two charges close together. So here we have some positive and negative charges. There's some different sizes, Q and 2Q, that can be positive or negative. And notice that they're either a distance of R or a distance of 2R apart. And there's four situations. We're trying to figure out what the order of is from the highest to the lowest potential energy between these four situations. And the potential energy can be calculated by taking the potential created by the one charge and multiplying it by the value of the charge as a second charge, which means we have KQ1 over R. That would be the voltage created by the first charge at the distance, the location where the second charge is going to be placed. So all we have to do is multiply uh, K, Q1, Q2 divided by R for all four situations and see which one is the biggest. So let's start with A. In this case, we have uh, A, the potential energy, let's call it sub A, is equal to K times Q1, which is Q, times Q2, which is 2Q, Up, Q, not K, that's the wrong letter. Go, 2Q divided by the distance, which is R. So this is going to be 2KQ squared over R. So that's the potential energy for situation A. Now let's do it for B. For B, we call it potential energy B is equal to K times Q1. Uh, Q1 will be Q and Q2 will be a negative Q divided by the distance between them, which is 2R. So in this case, that's going to be minus 1 half KQ squared over R. So obviously smaller in magnitude, but it's also negative. Now negative does mean something because you can see that here they would naturally be attracted to one another so you don't have to push them together. So it's actually a negative potential energy. It's less than zero because they naturally attract one another versus here they repel each other and you have to physically push them apart with a certain amount of force to obtain that potential energy. So you have to put work into it to obtain this kind of potential energy, but here that will happen on its own and the closer they get, the lower, the bigger the number, but the lower the energy will be. For part C, that's potential energy C, that's equal to K, times Q1, which is a minus Q, times Q2, which is a minus Q, divided by the distance, which is R. So this becomes equal to a positive 1 times K Q squared over R. So that's potential energy C, right there. So notice again that's positive energy because you have to push the two negative charges together, but it's not as much as you would need for this one right here because there's only a singular Q charge on each, even though it's negative, uh, versus a 2Q over here. And finally for D, I guess I should have put it over there because I'm running out of room, that would be PED. So in this case it would be K times the negative Q times the negative 2Q all divided by a distance of 2R apart. So it looks like this is also going to be equal to a 1KQ squared divided by R. Okay, now we're ready to rank them. It looks like A is number one. So we give this a number one because that's the highest ranking, the most energy required. Then C and D require the same amount of energy, half as much as A, but the same amount, so both of them get second place. And this one here is the negative energy, so we'll give that fourth place. And that would be the proper ranking for, ranking for those four situations in terms of their potential energy. And that's how it's done.